Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video here again to very quickly talk about two more units coming up for the 21 million downloads. Pick up some men. This time around, it's going to be Mysterious Hero X and Raiko, because those are going to be the next two upcoming on the 11th, which should be day roll by the time this video comes out, because this video should be out on the 11th. Day roll will happen, and then in comes Mysterious Hero X, and then two days later, Raiko comes up on the 13th. So, we're going to be talking about uh, both of them today, so let's get right to it. We'll start with Mysterious Hero X, because she's showing up first. Mysterious Hero One X Alter, she is a Berserker. She has two quicks, one arts, two buster. Three hits on quick, two hits on arts, four hits on buster, five hits on extra. Her active skills, which are Chestnut Paste DX. Uh, chest Chestnut Paste EX is increase own healing received for three turns. Recover zone HP, recover zone HP by 1000 every turn for three turns, and then increase the crit damage of quick, arts, and buster for a single attack three turns. 50% uh, up to the heal rate, 2,000 to heal uh, the quick and arts and buster damage is all 30%, and this is on a cooldown of 5. Her second skill, after a strengthening, is the Instantaneous Shadowless Blade C+, increases on quick performance for 3 turns, gain crit stars, 30% um, to quick, 20 crit stars on a cooldown of 5. Her third skill is a Sovereign's Invincible Hand C, reduces one ally's critical star absorption by 100% for one turn, and then increases the party's attack for three turns, 20% to attack on a cooldown of five. Passive skill is Madness Enhancement C and Alter Reactor A. Um, her third skill is a Anti-Assassin Critical Chance Resistance, and just in case you're ever fighting against Mysterious Hero 1X, she'll be ready for it. Um, and her Noble Phantasm method of strengthening is the Cross Caliber Black Dragon Twin Blade of Victory. It hits 9 times, it's quick, increases zone damage against good alignment by 50% for one turn, activates first, and then deals damage to enemies. It's uh, 1,600 at MP level 1, and if you get it at MP level 5, it is 2,400%. And then she also deals extra damage to Saber Class Servants, uh, which is 150% to charge level 1, and if you get her all the way to the final charge level, it's 200%, and that is mysterious heroine x uh she's really good <laughs> she does things she does one thing extremely well which is she kills the shit out of anything that is good alignment and a saber and she does it very effectively um the only thing that's kind of a a, a a bummer is that she doesn't have any form of guts and in terms of her protection i feel like healing on a berserker is maybe one of the weakest ways to do it because that would mean that your berserker would have to take damage first and then once they take damage there's a chance for them to get crit and then once they get crit they get blown out the sky so i don't think it's i think it would be nice if she was to get guts somewhere down the line but in my use in my times using her it's not really ever come up because usually the way i use her is a good way of like saying she's going to take out the f uh let's a lot of the times it's usually in grind notes where it's like three three one at that point, she's going to take out the one, and it's going to be pretty easy, especially if they are Saber or they are good alignment. But still, something that would be nice to have. So she's definitely... Is she, like, something that you need to go out and get? Probably not. But I do think she's actually very solid and very nice to have. And plus, she... I like all the design of her, so that helps a whole bunch as well. Um, but probably not a unit that I can think of that you need to get immediately. But once you have them, you're like, oh, man, this unit is just really good. If that makes sense. <laughs> Again, you have to keep in mind with all the stuff coming up that like, I've mentioned in multiple videos, such as Arjuna Alter coming up and uh, stuff coming up in New Year's in 2025. You kind of have to make these decisions for yourself. But I do think if you have her, I think you'll have a fun time using her. She ends up being, it's deceptive how when you look at the kit, you're like, it doesn't seem that amazing outside of the mp but then when you actually use her you're like okay no 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 this unit is legit this unit is good <laughs> this unit can do a buttload of damage and do it very effectively so that's mysterious heroin x next, next raiko minamata no raiko she is a berserker uh she has one quick two arts two busters four three hits on quick four hits on arts one hit on buster and five hits on extra she has her first skill, which is going to be... Yes, this is currently what she has. The Genji class, I have to double check. I know one of them we don't have yet, but I'm trying to remember if we have the others as well. They had to buff her a decent amount, so I don't know fully. Interlude campaign, yes, we should have this. We do have this. We had this a long ass time ago. 
The DNG clan martial arts disciple dis, discipline, not disciple, discipline, EX. Increases on critical star absorption for three turns, increase on crit damage for three attacks, three turns, 600% on absorption, 60% on crit damage, cooldown of five. Uh, second skill, the Thunder God Manifestation. This is the one that gets buffed. So for us, for the time being, it's this. It's Mana Burst Lightning, which is increased own buster performance for a single turn, then grants self evasion for one turn. It's 30% to buster on a cooldown of six, but eventually it turns into this which is increases own buster performance for three turns, grants self evasion, and then charges own MP gauge, 30% to buster still, 30% to NP on a cooldown of six still. So very big change, but it's not gonna be coming for, let me see, I don't think it's coming for a while. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to wait, uh, it should be this year at some point. In conjunction with the eighth anniversary, oh shit. <laughs> uh, gonna have to wait a little bit <laughs> we just had the we just had the seven so you're gonna have to just wait just a little bit more for for this one damn that that kind of makes me sad yeah yeah you see yeah it's gonna be a while anyway next third skill it's not gonna be a while but it's, it's gonna be when anniversary comes around that's when you would expect it. i don't expect it to come anytime sooner mysterious uh mystery killer a increases it's not called the mysterious mystery killer it's just mystery killer a increases own damage against the demonic enemies for three turns increases own damage against servant enemies with earth or sky attributes for three turns this includes demi servants and pseudo servants except setonia uh, 50% to uh, demonic earth or sky. It's 50% on a cooldown of six. Her passive skills are magic resistance D, madness enhancement EX, writing A plus, divinity C. Her third skill is an anti-assassin critical chance uh, resistance, just in case you're ever fighting shooting at some point, and she's in her specific assassin form. And not to be confused with Oni Cure, but I guess Oni Cure is also not um, shooting. They're two completely different characters. Uh, Noble Phantasm is the Gusharai Tenmukai Kai, the Ox King Storm Call, the Inescapable Net of Heaven. It's a buster, rank A plus, hits seven times, deals damage to all enemies, reduces their critical attack chance by 20% for three turns. At MP level one, it's 400%. At MP level five, it's 600%. It then increase own crit star generation rate for one turn. Um, charge level at one, the star rate is 100%, and if you get her all the way to the final charge level, you'll be generating a whole bunch. It's gonna be 300% at that point. She does not have any costume dress at the moment, and that is Raiko. Um, so Raiko's in a little bit of a weird place as far as NA goes. On NA, she's not the greatest, and the reason is um she doesn't have this skill yet what she's currently missing is the ability to uh to kind of like loop and for her to be an aoe unit and buster um unfortunately when she was designed things were a little bit different you know it was more of a merlin meta things were just different and she used she was basically the the best berserker for a very long time as far as aoe and um buster went and then arjuna alter came out and then she was no longer the best one and now, over time, they have slowly been buffing her. But for some reason, they decided that the last buff that they would give her is this one that would make her actually able to loop in the new system. Um, which is that she just needs a 30% NP. Because once you have this and you have mana loading, that means she starts with 50%. And then you can use 50% NPs. And you don't have to use something like Kaleidoscope or something else. It makes it more effective, more useful. And plus you can use her with double coin Skya and then Oberon because you'll be able to get this skill back and you'll be able to get the 70% for Oberon and you'll shoot off whatever and you're good to go. But unfortunately until she gets that she doesn't really have that so what we have right now is this and she isn't really going to cut it in a lot of stuff um, which makes me sad to say. Um, but when she does get this buff, when she does get this buff she'll be very strong. Um, I think someone's crunched out the numbers. I remember someone telling me this a while ago, so forgive me if it's not right because I don't play JP, but they told me this was true when they came out. But under certain conditions, it is possible for her to out damage um, Arjuna Alter. I'm assuming if both of them are at the exact same MP level, but of course it would require you to be fighting against a demonic 
um, someone who has demonic and someone who has earth or sky um, and then you'd be able to get the full advantage of this uh, which would make sense at that point um, glad to hear that that eventually happens so that's very good I also don't know how much things change with these new fourth and fifth skills I know this one would probably be really nice because when you have this 30% crit damage combined with this skill that gives her also 60% that means she gets 90% just off the bat sounds very good to me and even though she doesn't have anything here that um, besides her noble phantasm I guess that increases the crit star generation which activates first this ends up making it so that she can create a lot of crit stars she ends up creating a lot of them so it actually is very effective and so it can also help in those weird nodes where it's like like i mentioned three three one because at the end of it you're gonna have so much crit stars as long as you have enough as long as you have the right command cards at the end it should be easier to deal with but anyway that's Raiko. in a weird holding place on na she is really good eventually <laughs> she just needs it's funny to think where it's like yeah she has all these other skills the only thing she's missing is this and once she has this she'll be able to pop off and she'll be much much better because again not only is the 30 percent to mp charge uh good the fact that this goes from one to three turns is also pretty big um and that it's charged to the only thing that's a bummer here is that she's like tied to her evasion and the only thing she actually is legitimately still missing is some form of guts similar to how i said with mysterious heroin x um, Mysterious Hero when X Alter suffers from it just a little bit more because she's a single target, so therefore you'd probably want to try and use her in a little bit more challenge type quest. And you're going to run into the fact that, well, she doesn't have guts, so I have to be kind of careful and hope that she just doesn't get crit down. Uh, Raiko has no form of survivability of any case. Another reason why I would still consider Arjuna Alter, even with the buffs, uh, probably better is because he has literally everything to him. Um, but that probably means that, you know, she's got a third skill. <laughs> they'll eventually, <laughs> maybe they'll just buff this one. Even though I think she doesn't really need any more buffs, I think she's probably in a pretty good place. But it's never enough when it comes to Raiko. So, that's Raiko. And that's the end. Of the, that's pretty much the end. Should you go summoning on this, like I said in the previous one, you can go listen to that one. It's a whole spiel. There's a lot of good stuff coming up. So it's up to you to decide if any of these units sound good enough to you to go for it. I would say that for the most part, they are um, the similar to the. Um, oh no! Wait, there's someone who got who got really mad at me for saying this wrong. Um, and Ishtar. Um, they are both very good units, but they're units that you can probably skip for now. As fucked up as that say, unless you specifically save for them. That's the only kind of time where it's like if you're not someone who's heavy into saving and you're like can i summon on this now i think it's better for you to skip but if you're someone who's already planned ahead like i know one person who's like i already got enough to go for reiko i'm going for mp5 then you already know what's good to go <laughs> you don't need me to tell you more about what you need to do with your actions so for the average player who's just like i don't save at all i live by the whims of anything you should probably skip um, you'll probably end up doing a multi if you end up liking these characters because similar to Ishtar and <laughs> Now I'm just making it more annoying than anything um, They are very popular characters and they are well liked like obviously if I did not have either one of these I would be summoning on this at least a single multi <laughs> But at least I have enough stuff in the background to say I might still maybe throw multi at Raiko to see if I can get her MP2 who knows? Maybe, probably not. No, I can't. I shouldn't. Anyway, <laughs> here's me. Literally, I'll just avoid the two, the three days that she's up for, um, and that's it. And that's the end of the video. The next one of these will be covering the last two, which is going to be Ibuki and uh, Amakasa Shiro, which should go by pretty quickly. This one also goes by pretty quickly. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your Sunday if you're watching this on a Sunday, and I will see you guys at a later time. Peace out. Goodbye.